Bushcraft 412 and today I'm going to do a quick review on the Wahoo Killer Filet Knife. Um, based on a couple recommendations by a few of my subscribers, um, I decided to pick up this knife. It's $1.98 in the uh, Bud K catalog, but you can find it a couple other places in the in the $2 and $3 range. Um, it's marketed as a filet knife, but check this out. This is a Mora Clipper ripoff. I mean, this thing is almost identical to a Mora Clipper. You know, the sheath is, you know, pretty close to identical to what Mora makes. You know, just a plastic little sheath with a belt loop. Nothing fancy. It actually has pretty good retention. Uh, a little better retention than some of my Moras, uh, which is nice. It's got the little uh, thumb ramp on there, so when you're pulling it out, you have something to give you a little grip as you pull it out. So, we'll throw that aside. Here is the Wahoo Killer. It is, uh, like I said, it's listed as a uh, fillet knife in the uh, catalog. Stain the, this is a uh, stainless steel. It says uh, BK144 stainless steel China. Design is, you know, as you can see, pretty much identical to a Mora, which is really interesting. Get this to focus in on that. Wahoo Killer. It's got a picture of a fish on it. Uh, let's talk about the differences between this and Amora. Um, first and foremost, this is stainless steel as opposed to the carbon steel that a lot of Moras are made of. Uh, second, it's not a Scandi grind. I was really hoping this would be a Scandi grind. It's not. As you can see, there is a secondary bevel on the edge. Um, I guess maybe it might be a project to see if I can get rid of that bevel and make this into a Scandi grind. Um, nothing I can do in the near future, but maybe long term it's something I can do. But it's not Scandi grind. And I was a little disappointed because the pictures did make it look, you know, like, yeah, you know, at a distance it does look like a Scandi grind. So, kind of sad about that. But dimension wise and weight wise, this is a Mora Clipper. Uh, the handle is pretty much identical. Um, as you can see, the handle is two pieces. You can see the seam running down the length of it. So it was a two-piece handle that was glued over it. So it's, you know, it's not going to, you know, there's that slight possibility it could fall apart on you. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Now as for how sharp this knife is, uh, out of the box, this was fairly dull. Um, not sharp enough to cut paper, not sharp enough to shave hair. I did a little work with a diamond stone, um, or a diamond rod, and a ceramic rod I have here. And uh, it's now sharp enough where it'll take hair and, and cut paper pretty good. It did need a little bit of work out of the box, and it didn't take much because it's stainless, so it's not a tremendously hard steel, so it, it did sharpen up fairly quick. But you're not going to get the the legendary sharpness that Mora's have out of the box with these. Um, I think these are, are great, inexpensive kind of throwaway Mora's. Um, I know my Mora, I, sh I should have dug it up for this to show you to compare it, but mine's carbon steel, and over the years of uh, backpacking with it, I haven't taken care of it, and it's uh, rusted up quite a bit. Um, you're not going to have that same problem with this, so I think this is a good alternative for backpackers who don't need... The toughness of the the carbon steel and they just want a cheap knife that's really lightweight and small you know small fixed blade fixed blade this is a great alternative to the mora and at a buck 98 you can buy five of them for the price of one mora so it's i think this is actually ideal for backpackers um plus you know backcountry fishermen this is actually labeled as a fillet knife and i use my mora as a fillet knife, geez, you know, probably a hundred, you know, I've probably uh, filleted hundreds of fish with my Mora, so I don't anticipate this being any any better or any worse as a fillet knife. So I think as a, a backpacking knife, a, a backcountry fillet knife, anything like that, I think this is an awesome, awesome idea because a buck ninety eight, you can buy these and throw them away. But very cool. I really like that someone's putting a, a budget you know, a budget knife of a budget knife out there. And a buck ninety eight, this is something anyone can afford. Which I really do like. I like these things being accessible to everybody, not just people who have you know, 
a ton of money. And not that the mores were expensive to begin with, but it is nice because you can buy two or three of these and just beat the snot out of them and never worry about it. So, definitely a cool knife. Like I said, it's available at the, in the Bud K catalog under the fillet knives for about a dollar ninety eight. Uh, you can get them, I think, through Amazon and a few other sites for around three, four dollars. Um, I definitely think it's worth the money to have in your kit as a backup, or I definitely think if you're a backpacker, uh, this is a good alternative to the Mora in that it's stainless steel and you're not going to have to worry about corrosion. So, Bushcraft 412, and my review on the uh, the Wahoo Killer.